Hey there everyone, this is T-Bone PDX, and today, I'm going to be showing you my one chunk piston house. Now this is for the challenge that Mumbo Jumbo sent out, um, and this is my video for it, and I'm just going to showcase all of the things that my one chunk piston house does. And I realize now that this is taller than 16 blocks, or deeper, rather, but that wasn't technically in the parameters, so, oh well. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so, as you can see, we have a nice little path up here. It goes into our house, and then that's about it, you would think. But no, there's some stuff down here. It's a torch key. Just place your torch there, and this opens right up. Walk over the platform, and it closes. Uh, now, there are a couple of things in this area. Um, first off, we have our armor stand equipper. Now this is much better than the other ones that are used, because all you have to do is walk. Then you're equipped with a shield and a sword, and a full set of chain armor. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then you can also uh, swap this block out. I thought I'm going to do a hidden crafting table. Hidden hidden crafting table, because words are fun. Um, and then I just thought, why not do a piston feed tape of a bunch of useful blocks? So here's a cauldron. Um, here's a crafting table. Uh, here's glass, so that you can see everything. And then back to the stone brick. Um, and that is almost it for this area. Just one more thing. You press this button, and this platform drops down, and we have access to an infinite water source, shulker box, ender chest, three furnaces, and a brewing stand, and a bunch of other things, too. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now, redstone torch keys are great and all, but what if you lose your redstone torch? Well, that shouldn't be a problem, because there is another entrance up here. Just stand on this block, hit the button, you drop down and pushed in to the to the basement thing. A little layer down here that no one knows about except for everyone. Anyway, um, now we go back into the main portion of the house, and we have a lot of things going on here. We have an enchanting table. You can just flick this lever and get a bunch of enchanted or. Er, Bookshelves, that's what they're called. Probably should have cleared that. Um, and then we have, out in the front, we have some beetroot. But we're way too lazy to harvest that manually, so we just hit that button. And it is harvested for us, and we can just go ahead and replant and store our profits away somewhere. Then, here... We have a little thing that launches, uh, I said a little thing that, okay, what is going on here? There we go. Some lag because I'm recording. Um, so that works pretty well. Um, you can just hop up to the second floor. And then the final contraption is one of my very own design, and I like it very much. As you can see, there's a fireplace, but it's burnt out. Just flick this lever, and it will burn forever because there's nether rack, and then you can just toggle it. Okay, I don't know why this wasn't really working, but it works. Believe me, it works. Yeah. So thanks for watching. The world download is in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye.